hi everyone and welcome to my channel thanks a lot for clicking and feel most appreciated in this channel so today is one of those days i feel like i should take chicken soup remember it has started raining and by the way let me know uh, how the weather is from where you're watching from today uh, today being on a sunday it started raining yesterday from where i am and uh, i thank god at least we can plant and the weather has really changed from hot to very cold which i love so much so this is the chicken that i want to boil so that i extract some uh, chicken broth then we prepare the chicken to have our dinner to do this i will um, light my jiko as usual i think you've seen me lighting jiko in so many videos and this is what i mostly use for my cooking I'll then wash the chicken and add it to this boiling pot. Then add some little water, onions, salt, chili. Then I cover it. By now my stew is ready and I'll save the meat or remove the meat from the soup so that um, at least I can start preparing dinner as I enjoy my stew. If you love chicken stew like me or chicken soup that is boiled soup, comment down below and let me know. So these are the uh, pieces that I've managed to extract. And for my dinner, I'm not going to cook everything because I'm just alone. So I'll divide it into two. Over here, I have my crushed ginger and garlic. And that's what I used to crush. Then on this other side, I have my spices. The first thing as usual is to fry some onions. And as you can see, they are not many because the ones that I used to boil the meat, I will extract them and add them here. Next, I will add uh, my crushed ginger and garlic. Then I add the chicken pieces, some spices. Remember, when it comes to spices, you add what you like. And um, this is what I'm going to add. We have a uh, mixed spice. We have um, chili. We have uh, turmeric, curry powder. We have uh, beef cubes. And this is what I've just done. So because the spices are just on top, I don't want uh, to taste a piece that is uh, concentrated with so many spices, yet the others don't have. That's why you can see I've poured some little chicken broth so that it dilutes the spices and also they get to boil in together. For slaughtering my chicken, I extracted some chicken breast, and this is what I mean. Some call it chicken steak, whichever the name you call it, this is what I mean. So I will marinate this so that I use it in the course of the week for breakfast. And it's a recipe I love so much. Like if you've ever tried chicken breast, by the way, give the video a like because I think the taste is so good. So for this one, I will marinate or add the spices inside. Try spreading them with my hands. Use a knife to slice them so that the spices get to enter inside. Then I cover them and put them somewhere cold so that at least as I 
cook them they are very nicely and very well marinated but because i don't want to cook the food uh the marinated chicken with uh other uh, onions or anything else when it comes to cooking i will add a mixed ginger and garlic that is crushed ginger and garlic then i also chop some onions and add in here and i smear it with lemon my goodness look at this if you love what you see kindly subscribe to my channel in case you're not subscribed because these are must try recipe just follow this recipe and i'm very sure you love everything look at this pick a piece and leave some for me and we enjoy it together wow for me i prefer my chicken when it's kind of crunchy and uh, golden brown as you can see some look like they are they burnt and this not burning i just wait for it to turn golden brown which i love love so much and for my chicken i'm having it with a uh, ugali some greens let me know your favorite greens because for me it's kumawiki or kunde my goodness guys it has started ra uh, raining and i have to rush outside so that at least i remove some clothes that i had this is how the place is looking look at this over there where you can see some white thing that's stagnant water yesterday it rained a lot a lot like oh my goodness i used to hear it rained dogs and cats or cats and dogs and today i can attest that it rained cats and dogs so for me i feel so good i feel happy despite the fact that my clothes have been rained on guys oh my goodness i was just cooking and i could not hear the rain so immediately i sat down to start eating that's when i had the rain or i noticed that it was raining so i had to go outside because what I love about uh, these rains, um, it's not raining continuously. It can rain for around 10 minutes. Then for the next like 20 to 30 minutes, it will uh, the rains will have stopped. And uh, I love it. My goodness, guys, I think I'll just start, I'll start eating from here. Because uh, the kids are outside, I'm trying to call them. They are not around. I don't know where they are, by the way. So I have to go out there look for them because i remember when i was young i used to love it when i'm rained on and i know that's what they are waiting for so let me just go outside see where they are bring them back so that at least we eat together and enjoy our dinner thanks a lot for watching the video till the end may god bless you all and let's meet on my next one